Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I'm kind of asking him, like, if he's going to be good. <sighs> Just clean the table. Okay. So we have Jasper. Okay. Oh, mind, mind your claws on my legs, please. Good boy. He's purring. It all seems good. Is it all good in the hood? I was going to pull some Archangel Guidance cards today. Um, I seem to be itching. Okay. Want to kiss it? Okay, I'm all good. I'm all good, Jasp. I do have the postcard from Spirit. The postcards from Spirit. I've got the Archangel Power Tarot. Hi. Very loving today. I was actually going to look at the feminine and the masculine side. I'm going to get to them, Jasp. You like that book? Does it look like you? Looks like you if you're all grown up. <sighs> kind of. Your mixture of the ginger and the and the white. You're beautiful. It's all good. Okay. Let's use these cards. Let's see if he's gonna let me shuffle. Let me shuffle them. <laughs> That one, the top and the bottom one. I felt I wanted to look at the, uh, hang on, hang on, and that one. And another one, lovely. Who's that for? The feminine? Is she on the bottom? Where are we going for the top? That one, okay. <laughs> Seriously. Divine masculine, you're over here. Is that right? Divine feminine, you're over here. You've got three cards. I think we're done. <laughs> Who are we going to look at first? Can you hear the birdies outside? Oh, where's my coaster? I'm going to look at the Divine Feminine first. Okay, we can do that. Hold on, let me get my coaster. We're going to put that in the middle. Should we see what um, what's combining these two energies? No? Okay. Let's look at the Divine Feminine first. All right, let me look at them then. They're like stuck together, these two. You have to let my me turn them over. Decision. Divine Feminine, release yourself from that which, which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary wa worry. I don't know what I was going to say, unnecessary waste. I'll go to that side next. Hold on. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Divine Feminine. All right, I'll have a look, see what's going on with the masculine. That's good. Knight of Gabriel. Confident, enthusiastic, courageous and charismatic. Time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. Well, okay, no need to itch, darling, and be irritated now. I thought we were going to be really good. So, on the masculine side, it's actually picking up the Divine Feminine's energy. Um, that she's confident, charismatic, courageous and enthusiastic. <laughs> You gonna come back on? Come on. Coming down. I want to read the cards. <sighs> Sorry about that. Put your legs down. Come down. Come down, please. Come on. It's better if you just sit on the lap. That's it. So on the masculine side, we do have... He's picking up on the Divine Feminine um, detoxing herself of the masculine's energy. So he can feel that the Divine Feminine has released herself from that which holds her back. And I want to say that's her Divine Masculine. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So I feel like this is really kind of... Um, rattled the Divine Feminine's cage. <laughs> Which seems to, in return, I, I believe it's rattled the Divine Masculine's cage. So it's like his cage has been rattled as the Divine Feminine is setting him free. Good boy. Sorry, darling. Okay. 
and the divine feminine has taken action time to take action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do or this could actually be the divine masculine that's this has had the knock-on effect his cage has been rattled and uh he instinctively just knows what to do now when it comes to the divine feminine but i feel like the divine feminine she's on the run oh we're looking at the masculines okay Five of Ariel, so this is the transition, the Five of Pentacles. So we've got the Knight of Wands, um, our passionate light here. Five of Ariel, which is the Five of Pentacles, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. And, oh, this is all just coming back on the Divine Masculine. It's kind of like, he's a bit stumped. It's like, what happened? It's like he's been left out in the cold. And it all seems to be due to the Divine Feminine's decision to release herself from that which no longer serves her. Or it actually says release yourself from that which holds you back. Queen of Michael, the Queen of Swords here. Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful and humorous. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So this is the Divine Feminine. She's kind of like, um, it's like if you truly love them, set them free. If it's meant to be, they will come back. So it feels very much like if you truly love someone, then set them free. There's unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. Um, there's a quote, isn't there? That's what I'm trying to think of. It sounds better than what I just said, but um, it's like if it's meant to be, it will come back to be. <laughs> I don't think that's it either, but I, look, I'm humouring myself. Um, you know exactly what to do, Divine Feminines, the benefit of experience. So you can pick up when you're when you're entering or when you're trapped in the cycle. Okay, the benefit of experience. And then I want to say about giving the benefit of the doubt because a time for your career rather than relationships. But here it says unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. You must trust that if it's meant to be, it will be. Release it. Release and surrender. And then we've got the seven of Michaels. So now we have the masculine who's at the crossroads. And Seven of Michael is normally about being sneaky and um, envious. It's definitely that sneakiness. But we have Archangel Michael here directing the masculine. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. <clears throat> so he does know the Divine Masculine. That's, the Divine Feminine has gone that way. It's like you can't find her in the dark anymore. <clears throat> okay, she's taken that, the lighter, the lighter route. Okay, working alone may not be the best answer. <clears throat> and I feel, because we've got the Feral Varial here, and we've got the Divine Feminine who's off. I mean, these colours are so different, aren't they? This is all to do with the third eye, the throat, the third eye the crown chakra for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine stuck in passion and with the pink here, although that represents the, the root chakra, um, the aerial pentacles here. I'm going to say the pink here, <laughs> see it's about the heart. <laughs> so this is really tugging on the heart here, the Divine Masculine. Yeah, I feel like he's like going, I don't really want to be set free. But it's like the decision has been taken out of his hands, it's in the Divine Feminine's hands where maybe once upon a time he felt that that was the decision that he had made. Like to be alone and now the Divine Feminine, she's like, I don't know, he's, he's got his little backpack here, come here. So he could be trying to find the Divine Feminine and she can't be found where she used to hang out. <laughs> Not down dark alleyways, but she's in the light. Very interesting. What was the adjoining energy? The Eight of Gabriel. Things have happened very quickly for the Divine Masculine. It feels as if all of a sudden the Divine Feminine is just gone. 
a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results and important communication. It's like she's lost um, and he can't track her. I feel, look, she's amongst the birds here. So she's blending in. It's like he's looking for his love. Where did you go, my lovely? I want to know. Where did you go? Whoa, <laughs> I want to know. Oh, we've got here is the Divine Masculine with his backpack. And he doesn't know which path. Where do I go? He's being directed by the angels. He'll find the Divine Feminine if he really wants to. It's like where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Let's call it that today. Where there's a will, there's a way. Divine Masculine, let's have a look. I'm going to have a read of these. Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous and charismatic. That is the um, energy of the Divine Feminine. You can see it's the Divine Feminine here. She's being guided by her angels and following that guidance. Only love can set you free. Okay. Let's have a look at the situation. And then we can have a look at the, the people who it's referring to. So the Knight of Gabriel, the situations, it says. It's time to take action. This situation needs your full and undivided focus and quick attention. Fortunately, you probably can't wait to get started. <laughs> Looking for your Divine Feminine. Think things through thoroughly and then act with speed and certainty. You will instinctively know what direction to move in. Okay. You will instinctively know what direction to move in because you will feel such great passion for the cause. Where there's a will, there's a way. If the Divine Masculine wants to find the Divine Feminine, he will be led to her. So that's the situation. He feels it's time to take great action. Great action. Doesn't say great, well, it's time to take some great action. Okay. This situation needs the Divine Masculine's full and undivided focus and quick attention. And it says, fortunately, you probably can't wait to get started. No, he wants to find the Divine Feminine in this reading. Five of Ariel. Interesting, because it says here, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. So he knows the Divine Feminine, she's gone off on her own. Okay, let's carry on with this. The people. Someone who has immense self-confidence and is always ready for the next adventure. That's the Divine Feminine, so he's got to kind of track her down now. A person who is loyal and generous of spirit. So she's going to be out there on mission work. Courageous, enthusiastic, charismatic and impulsive. And she's off. I suggested it felt like it was a basis. Divine Feminine's off. The additional meanings of this card are volunteer, an athlete, passion for life and single-mindedness. Single-mindedness, Divine Feminine's just thinking about herself now and she's gone. A volunteer for a good cause. Passion for life and an athlete. I feel it could be the divine masculine that's maybe becoming a bit of an athlete. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at this five of Ariel. Where are the Ariels in here? Ariels, like it's a radar. Tune in, tune in. Where is she? Where is she? Find masculine, help is nearby. You don't have to go through your current challenges alone. Ask your angels to make your options clear to you. There is no need to remain out in the cold emotionally or physically. If you're unwilling to accept help from others, ask yourself why. What is it that you feel is missing from your life? Is it material or something deeper, like spirituality or love? It's like, what's happened? It's like the Divine Feminine, she's got her... Well, I do feel like that's where the Divine Feminine's gone, but I believe that this is 
the archangel is about to guide the divine masculine if he allows it. Um, she's all cloaked up here. I do feel like the divine masculine is out there in the cold light searching. Negative thoughts can create self-fulfilling prophecies that are totally unnecessary. Refocus your thoughts on what is possible and this situation will turn around. So he feels like all is lost. Additional meanings of this card, feeling unlucky, money troubles, health issues, inadvisable plans or timing for self-employment. He hasn't put his focus on the Divine Feminine. He's put his focus on everything else but the Divine Feminine and the Divine Feminine's gone. He just can't feel her energy. He's gone. She's gone. She's gone. He's gone. It's picking up something about the Divine Masculine. It feels like it's, um, in a way, it's like he's getting a dose of his own medicine. And that's just the way that it's turned out. It's like he was gone, but now the Divine Feminine's gone. We're going to work more on that. Okay, let's go over to the, no, we'll go over to the feminine side. Let's look at the decision here, which is the only major arcana on the table. So, um, this decision has, has had a major impact on the connection. Archangel Jophiel, release yourself from that which holds you back and need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. And I feel that that lack of self-confidence actually came through um, the masculine kind of rejecting the divine feminine. But it feels now as if, it feels as if the divine feminine's rejected the divine masculine. And I think that she's just walked away. It's not like a rejection. Um, they say that rejection's a form of protection. So she's just protecting her aura now. You are being called to break free of anything that is holding you back. So it's a natural thing. She's been called to do this. It's part of the process. If it's had that knock-on effect, you can see why it had to be part of the process. Archangel Jophiel can help you release any feelings of helplessness or fear that are creating a sense of entrapment. The good news is that the limitations that you perceive as hindering your progress are self-created and therefore can be uncreated. You can free yourself with the help of God and the angels. Negative thinking can keep you from moving on in the direction of your heart's desire. I'm just going to reread that part because I've added in a word, moving on. It says moving in. Moving in, okay. Negative thinking can keep you from moving in the direction of your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Jophiel to keep your thoughts flowing in a positive direction. Allow your spiritual wings to carry your way to the life of your dreams. That is exactly what the Divine Feminine has done. She's following the guidance. Okay. The Divine Feminine is doing what she's told by Divine. Move on. Additional meanings of this card. A focus on material possessions. Overspending. A need to detox a lack of self-confidence and unnecessary worry. So I feel like the Divine Feminine's life got a bit turned upside down, okay? Um, like since the Divine Masculine kind of entered her life. And now she's just regaining control again. Archangel Jophiel is known as the Angel of Beauty. She can help you see the positive in any situation. She is also known to visit people via the scent of roses. So if you smell this fragrance, know that she is assisting you in that moment. Ask Archangel Jophiel for guidance whenever you need to be able to see the way clear to freedom and joy. It's like, Divine Masculine, you've got to follow like the, the scent. It's like if you get that scent, you know that you're on the right trail. Okay, the scent of roses, you'll be able to smell it. You will be able to smell your counterpart, even when you're not together, you'll get that... Um, that reminder of your um, counterpart to follow the scent, Divine Masculine. It's like you might feel your Divine Feminine's not around and she's not, okay? She's just kind of flying high. <laughs> um, 
and just focusing on her future and manifesting her dreams. But there are the angels that are helping you. And Divine Feminine is very aware of that. So she is kind of in on it. She's just not playing like an active role. It's more your angels that are guiding you to the Divine Feminine. Okay. Let's have a look at this Queen of Michael. Brilliant, self-reliant, insightful and humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. I do feel like the benefit of the doubt needs to be given here, maybe on both sides. Because the Divine Masculine's mind could be running away with him. As in, um, well the Divine Feminines will understand that. It seems to be part of the process when you kind of think the worst case scenario and your mind really runs away with you. And you feel like all is lost. And hopeless. Queen of Michael. Let's have a look at the situation then, because we've got the situations and people again. The situation. You know exactly what to do. Past experiences have prepared you perfectly for the situation you find yourself in. Wisdom blended with humour makes the task easy to accomplish. Give others credit for good intentions rather than perfect actions. This is a time in life for advancing your career and getting things done rather than engaging in romantic relationships. Give others credit for good intentions. Okay. I do feel that the Divine Feminine is... Um, she's not jumping into any relationship. She's learnt from past experiences. She's just getting on with life. And co-creating a life with the Divine. Where it feels like the masculine, you're left out in the cold. You feel as if you're divine feminine, she's on her own. To some degree, if you want to perceive it that way, but she's not alone. She's trusting divine and look like she's having a, a whale of a time. I haven't can't see any water yet, but look at the roses here. Yellow roses, aren't they lovely? I love roses. I actually like all roses, apart from really red roses. <laughs> red roses don't really... Um, I don't know. I think yellow roses are lovely. I just think because they're different, because everyone just assumes that red roses should be, you know... But they're given so freely, aren't they? Like Valentine's Day and... Anyway, should we get off of the roses? Is that what you can smell? Roses. Let's look at the people. A person who has both a brilliant mind and a great sense of humour. Someone who has varied and broad experience in life. Perceptive, courageous, analytical, cool, calm and collected. I love it. That's good for the Queen of Swords to be cool, calm and collected. Additional meanings of this card. A faithful friend, wise counsel and feng shui. So I think the Divine Feminine has just put it in the friendship zone. She'll always be the Divine Masculine's friend. She'll always be a faithful friend. Can she offer romance, love and commitment to the relationship energetically, energetically like that anymore? No, it's too draining. So I feel like she's kind of doing the friendship card. And um, what will be, will be. So she is a loyal friend. She does want to have the Divine Masculine's back. She just doesn't want to carry his emotional um, weight anymore. Now, to buy masculine, oh, there's some additional meanings. Oh, let's turn it around the right way. Oh no, I read that. A faithful friend, wise counsel and feng shui. So you're fearing the divine feminine when there's nothing to fear, divine masculine. So I, f I wonder if the divine masculine feels as if because I picked up the Queen of Michael, the Queen of Swords, being in a good energy. So, I feel as if the Divine Masculine might feel, is it just better to go back into the dark? Archangel Michael's going, no, just be a brave boy, it's this way you want to go. Stop running away from it. It's like your Divine Feminine, she's cool, calm and collected. And she's flying high. Um... And just going with the flow. Not rushing around, taking time to smell the roses. It's like the response that you're going to get from your Divine Feminine 
is not going to be what you would normally expect, maybe sometimes. Most of the time from the Queen of Swords. She summons the truth, she's harsh, she's blunt, she gets straight to the point. Um, this Queen here looks very mature. Seven of Michael, let's have a look at this Seven of Swords. Okay, Divine Masculine, let's have a look. There is a better course of action available to you. Ask yourself, what am I really trying to accomplish? Think about whether working alone on this project is a good idea. Is your unique point of view providing creative solutions or is it causing you to miss important details? Go over the details again. Your angels want you to be a success in this endeavour and are giving you a heads up with this card. There is probably more going on here than meets the eye. Someone may have ulterior motives. It's your fear. If you're fearful of the divine feminine like scolding you, okay, and like telling you off and putting you in your place, why? Because you, you feel that you've done something wrong and that you deserve that? What if you deserve love and compassion and forgiveness from your Divine Feminine? What if that's what she was waiting to dish out? Rather than judgement, resentment, hatred. So I feel like it's a, just a, a projection of your own guilty conscience. Um, making you want to go back down that uh, dark path again. Okay. The additional meanings of this card, the need for caution, poor timing and running away. You're fearful of your timing being wrong. You're very cautious. Running away. <clears throat> We're going to have to read this out to Gabriel. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So this is the combining energy here. Suddenly things are moving at a very fast pace. All delays are over and now the sky's the limit. It may be a little overwhelming, but it also feels good to see your plans moving forward. It could feel as though there are too many things going on at once, so it will be necessary to stay grounded. It's important to have a very organised plan so that things don't spin out of control. New information or messages come your way. It's a good time to promote yourself or your business. See where the Divine Feminine is? She's confident. Communication is accurately received by all parties right now. Yeah, you know, give each other the benefit of the doubt. Don't let that doubt be in there. Just move on with your day. Additional meanings of this card. Too many balls in the air. Flashes of inspiration and immediate results. Right, we're going to have to look more into this. This is a good reading today. <laughs> okay, well, Divine Feminine, she's free. Free as a bird. Hmm. I'll have a look at the Channel of Love cards. And the Rider Waite? Well, yes, let's. You're not showing up much on this table, Divine Masculine. You feel lost. It's like you're lost now without your Divine Feminine's energy. Maybe you're just realising how much you were feeling it and maybe wasn't aware that it was your Divine Feminine until you can't seem to find her. Knight of Gabriel with the Five of Ariel. So it feels like the Divine Feminine's gone. She's, she's off on her mission. The Angels is telling you that you need to go through this alone. We'll lead you in the direction of your Divine Feminine. But you've got to see it as being a good cause. To want to go after. Oh, happily ever after, Divine Masculine. You have to be sure. This is your flame. This is your true love. So are you going to go after your happily ever after? The Divine Feminine's already off on her way to finding that. Through the veil of illusion. That's the world card, Divine Masculine. 
when you've wrapped up all other cycles, you can go through them and have a new beginning. That happily ever after. Um, top, top. <laughs> That's what I feel. It's like... It was really weird, actually, yesterday, because, like, whenever I rest or lay down or just go into a quiet space and I try and be quiet and listen to the birds and what's going on outside, all I could hear and it sounded like um, a horse outside. I go, well, that's that's like interesting. Um, so I was picking up like this galloping horse. Okay, divine feminines, you've made a decision. You're going to work on releasing yourself from all that that you feel is holding you back. Mrs. Mystic, connecting with the divine. Mrs. Do as you're told. Do have a secret agent that is behind the scenes, but the secret agent is being guided by divine now, by the archangels. I picked up um, that they wanted to speak. When I done yesterday's live, I picked up the archangels wanted to speak. This one looks like it's in reverse. Perfect. Okay. The Sun card in reverse. Perfect. This, okay, so you're doing what you're told, Divine Feminines, but this isn't like the perfect um, solution for the Divine Masculine. Seeing as it's a Sun card, it's in reverse. The Sun's taking me to the Divine Masculine's energy. What's the bottom? Feminine Compassion, the Strength card, 1111. The Feminine does have Compassion, Divine Masculine. It's you that's afraid of your own shadow. Love is in reverse. The lovers here is a very strong connection, okay? Um, you can see the telepathy here, it's in reverse. There's no communication. It's like there's no line. He can't get a connection to the Divine Feminine. I picked up on like Ariel when it was like, He's trying to tune in. It's like he can't actually... It's void. It's blank. She's not there. He's used to, you know, being able to speak to her energetically. You can see the sun behind here. Behind the archangel. Divine masculine is not happy. Let's have a look then. <clears throat> I feel like he's finding the strength. I feel it's my heart's going really fast now. Um, it needs to be brave. It was taking me to like the cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz, especially because on the front of the book here we had Jasper and he's kind of chose the cards, hasn't he? The blending of the two. Not not needing to do this all alone. Maybe I feel the Divine Masculine feels a bit guilty because of, it's like the Divine Feminine didn't give up. She's still carrying on. So it's like the Divine Feminine is reaching new heights and the Divine Masculine... I feel because of his coldness, he's uh, created this self-fulfilling prophecy. Divine, Divine Masculine, you've got the sun. You're there. Okay. The sun doesn't look happy at you. <laughs> it's a bit like, what are you doing? Rebirth here. Okay, so definitely about changing your attitude to being positive. It's like, all the, look what all the negativity got. For you, Divine Masculine, and look what all the positivity got the Divine Feminine. It's like, who's the one that's been left behind? So, we've got our positive hat on. Nice. Got no pants today. Okay. Yeah, no more moodiness, no more dwelling on the past, no more refusing. Um, to see what's right in front of your eyes. 
uncross your arms, stop being so scroppy and go after what it is that you're wanting and that is to live happily ever after and it is with your Divine Feminine. Okay, well you're on your horse. Giddy up horsey. Do you want to say any more about that? No, okay. Divine Feminines, you do have the secret agent that's following you. Mrs. Do as you're told, you're doing what you're told. It's Divine that's directing you. And it isn't a perfect situation for the Divine Masculine because he's got to do some work now. He has full Archangel support with him. Hi, Lily. Hi. You look like you've been crying. One of your eyes looks a bit... Weepy. It's like the Divine Feminine, she's just with the other Divine Feminines and they're just like raising their glasses and it's like all of a sudden, I don't know, her head turns and it's like, it's her turn. She's pulled out. She's raising her cup the highest. So it's, don't be surprised if you hear a lot of unions are on the radar. Very strong energy you hear of the Divine Masculine chasing down the Divine Feminine. Um, and this card? Yeah, look. He can pull you out in a crowd. You will be able to sense if your Divine counterpart even walked in the same room that you were in. That, I believe, is one of the, the signs you would be able to sense if your divine counterpart is in your vicinity. That's why the divine masculine has to follow the saint. You'll know, trust, where divine is leading you. Because the divine feminine could be all over the place at the moment. Her energy. Not it's scattered, it's being distributed. She's volunteering her energy in other areas of life. That's what's happening. And it's not all directed at the Divine Masculine. And she's been guided to do this Divine Masculine. So there's the fall. He needs to take a leap of faith. Divine Feminine, you're just trusting your senses here. No interference. Following the flow. It comes when you least expect it. I've told you that there's a secret agent behind the scenes. Regardless, Divine Feminines, you're off. Nothing's going to stop you. We've got Starship coming. Nothing's going to stop us now. Us, so it seems to have given the Divine Masculine a kick up the bum. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have each other. Where's the Divine Masculine going? To the cops. To the cops. <laughs> He's going to the Two of Cups. He's off. Starts his voyage. Should we get a postcard from Spirit for both sides? Let's do it. Let's do it. What are we going to do? Let's fall in love. Well, the Divine Feminine's working on her career at the moment, Divine Masculine, but you could give it a go. You could ask her. <coughs> The thing is, with the Divine Feminine, she would have um, learnt to have distributed this time and energy equally between all facets of her life so that she can slot in love. It's not that she doesn't have the time for love. It's just love is not on the agenda at the moment. And love comes when you're not looking for it. So they say. Why is the Divine Feminines in reverse? Why have I got itchy shoulder? And why do I feel like them cards want to? Is that a dragon? Mm, interesting. Dragon. I actually felt like my dragon is still with my Divine Masculine's dragon. Okay? Even though my energy is not. But I connected with my dragon. And I told her she had free will to do whatever she wanted to do. So my dragon's actually staying with my Divine Masculine's dragon. And I gave her the blessing. And I said, you know, 
absolutely fine. That's her free will to do that. Um, so the dragons in my world. <laughs> Although I have my like flying unicorn and Emily told me what they're called. Oh, I got an Annie, Annie Corn. Annie Corn. I think that's what she said. I said, she said they're unicorns that have wings, otherwise they're Pegasus. I said, okay, if they don't have like a, a horn. <laughs> and I said, well, that's what I use now. It's like, Sophia, my dragon, she hasn't been around for a while. I know where she is. But um, I did kind of ask her, like, to come home. And she, the look she gave me, I said, oh, you don't have to. If you want to stay, that's fine. So, oh, God, <laughs> the Divine Masculine has the Divine Feminine's dragon energy, maybe, as well. In my case, I believe that's true. And that's absolutely fine. My dragon's around to help and assist the Divine Masculine's energy. Um, okay. While we crack on with other stuff, I've got a flying unicorn. So, Anicorn. What does she call it? I don't know. <laughs> Should we have a look at the Divine Feminine, then? Because it is in... Um, but there's a dragon. It says you are fierce. So seeing as the Divine Feminine ha is having like, is not taking any action towards the Divine Masculine and his situation to assist with that. She's off, the, off assisting where Divine's sending her in other directions. Um, you are fierce. So the Divine Feminine, she isn't. She's cool, calm and collected. So dearest you, there is only one you, and you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people, but then it is up to you how you live, how you awake, how you awake. What I felt there was, it's like, you're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people, but then it's up to you how you live. And I feel like since meeting the Divine Masculine, it's turned the Divine Feminine's world upside down. And so it, she's allowed things to get out of control. So you're supposed to have, we'll read this third time, bloody lucky, you're supposed to have specific experiences in this world and meet certain people, but then it is up to you how you live, how awake you choose to be, and how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because their outside looks good according to society's standards. But you can't know anyone's internal experience. Compare yourself only to your past self. See how far you've come. And don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing. Do you get it, Divine Masculine? This is what the Divine Feminine is doing. She's not becoming distracted by what you're doing or maybe what you're accomplishing or trying to work out how you're feeling. If it's meant to be, it'll be. It's been released, surrendered. To be free. You've been set free, Divine Masculine. Okay? and But you're kind of going, no, I set the Divine Feminine free. It's like, yeah, so you thought. But she is actually the one that sets herself free now, so you're free. Stay focused on what inspires you. That's how you get successful and find happiness. Want what you have now, not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. Divine Feminine is just cracking on. Okay, leave her be. Well, <laughs> it's like don't do the blame game that she's like abandoned you and walked off and everything that she said she didn't mean. It's like, no, you have to give her the benefit of the doubt. She's doing her mission work. She's doing what she's told. It's like, you haven't been doing what you've been told. And now your angels are like full force on you, saying, are you going to do what you're told now? You are loved by masculine. Dear you, do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone, or you might have no value. Maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done. Be healed, be completed, etc. 
You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome, but we don't think that will be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary. Delegate responsibility to another. Ask for your needs to be met. And when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it. I can't control it. And it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. Wow. Try doing something different. What I picked up here was the fact that you've put all your energy into money and other areas and not the Divine Feminine. You need to do something different, Divine Masculine. Let's get a joint message. The bottom one, I know. I can feel it. Are they called pan pipes? I want some of those. Celebrate life. Well, we've got to, we've had the celebration kind of, two different cards come up over the last two days about celebrating. Celebration, celebrate life. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Maybe she's like the Pied Piper. She's calling you in. <clears throat> Dearest, wonderful you, to help you manifest a life for the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all your desires, no matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring too much attention and invite negative reaction from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. So, that's what the Divine Feminine is doing. She's not afraid to be seen. She's not afraid to step forth. She has all these magical seed pods, are they called? Imagine all your desires. There's lots of desires that the Divine Feminine has, not just the Divine Masculine. No matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring too much attention and invite negative reaction from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count, and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply. And I'm so happy to support you. That's just awesome, guys. Come on. Look at this assistance here for both of the counterparts. Let's get some daily guidance from your angels. Let your past go. It's in reverse. Maybe that's been done. Oh, I feel like I want to get an enchanted mat as well. <laughs> Let's help you out. Okay. With direction here. Angels of light as well, okay. And then can we go? Let's not make it a really long one today. Divine masculine, you've got the ocean. So it's those sea salt baths. Sea salt baths. Salt baths. Dip yourself, it's beautiful weather. Absolutely beautiful weather if you've got like, well, if it is where, hopefully it will be. If I say it's beautiful weather, it's beautiful weather. You might be able to have a swim in the ocean or the sea. The beaches are all open now. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. 
Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. Especially if you can imagine like your divine feminine having a whale of a time in that ocean. You know she's in there. Swimming, having fun, just going with the flow of life. You'll be able to connect with her. Let's get another one for you, Divine Masculines. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. We need to read this one. See the signs? I follow feathers all the time. And the birds. The birds, um jump like on my journey <laughs> so uh, I noticed that again yesterday what was really cool is they were jumping like fences to fence but as I walked past them normally they would fly away but they didn't there were two blackbirds notice the signs I, I don't know if they were like the, the actual like blackbirds but they the birds were black <laughs> they weren't like crows <laughs> no they were cute. Look, I don't know. I don't do that, okay? They would just, like, give them, like, section them off with a dime. <laughs> the birds, they were black. And they were, they were flying the way for me. Let's just carry on with noticing the signs. How do you explain this stuff? It's all a bit crazy, isn't it? The angels gave you this card to help you understand the signs you've been receiving lately. These signs may include feathers, coins, butterflies, birds, or other repetitive, couldn't get the word out. <laughs> These signs may include feathers, coins, butterflies, birds, or other repetitive visions that make you think of the angels, or your divine feminine, who have deliberately deliberately sent you these signs to let you know that you're nearby, protecting, loving and guiding you. You'll be able to tell if your divine counterpart's nearby. Additional meanings of this card. Your departed loved ones in heaven are saying, hello, I love you. Notice and believe in the repetitive signs you receive as validation that you're on the right path. Have faith, follow the signs that are guiding you to your heart's desire. Follow the signs, have faith. Don't doubt them. Give them the benefit of the doubt. That's beautiful. Okay. Divine Feminine. Let's get some daily guidance for you guys. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under perfect control of Divine Providence and Universal Order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. We're going to read this. It's nothing to worry about, Divine Feminines. The angel sent this card to you because you've been need needlessly worrying. Worry is a form of prayer that draws to you that which you do not desire. Release your worries to your angels as as there truly is nothing to worry about. In fact, your worries could create a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, the Divine Masculine can understand why you can't stay in this worrying state and you have to move on. Additional meanings for this card. Everything's much better than you imagine. Ask the angels to release you from worry. A happy outcome is inevitable. Avoid worrying lest the negative emotions pull you and the situation down. The angels are with you and everything's okay. Would you like it? Let's get another one for the Divine Feminines. Okay, so there's no need to worry. And... Child. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule 
so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So a lot of um, the Divine Feminine's energy is being kind of sent other, other places. Towards her children, if she has children, towards children that um, she's like a wrong model to. And also she's nurturing her own inner child. She's self-soothing. And as she can self-soothe, remember she's called calm and collected. As she self-soothes, she's going to be able to help self-soothe other people in her energy. The thing is her energy has been focused on trying to soothe the divine masculine from a distance. And um, it's like she's just kind of put that down now and she's moved on to helping others. And it's definitely about um, here to be that role model for future generations. Child. I'm not going to read any more into that. It's perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate, as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. I love it. Everything and everyone is on your side. Hallelujah. 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 Perfect timing. <laughs> This card means that you need to take certain steps before your prayer can be fully answered. The angels say that now is a perfect time to act. They will guide you along the way. Sometimes it's not so important how we approach a situation, but that we put energy, action and intention into manifesting what we desire. Once we take the first step in the direction of our desired outcome, the universe then gives us additional help. It's like blind faith here, stepping in blind faith, taking that leap of blind faith, divine masculine. Additional meanings for this card. Take action now. The situation will work out well provided that you don't delay. Make a decision. Any blocks in the past were because the timing wasn't yet right. Looks like it's perfect timing. Um, oh, an enchanted map. That's what I said I'll get. Oh, where have they gone? Oh, they're here. <clears throat> How long you kept me on for? 57 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, let's do it. We've got 21 seconds to go. I don't know why we've got 21 seconds to go. Oh, an angel. Yes, I remember. <coughs> right, let's look at the enchanted map. Unexpected visitors and intention. Masculine details, details. Let's read it. Well, we know we're going to read it. All I can see is clarity magnified here. Is that a compass, sir? Details, details. 43. Just my age. Okay. All these, like, they're like orbs. When I was reading earlier, I could see fairies flitting over here. Um, just a couple of them. They're gone now. Well, they're probably not, but I caught sight of them. It just reminded me here. The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. This is a time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign to finesse a project, make small but meaningful gestures, or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware. <laughs> I felt like it was like a personal touch to your correspondence. I felt like it was a, a text message with like either I love you or a kiss. It was like that's a personal touch. Okay. <laughs> Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you're entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. Clarity and transparency are key. You can 
gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. Okay. You need to look at the details. How is your Divine Feminine really going to respond to you? It depends on your approach, isn't it? You've got to try doing something different, a different way of doing something. Personal touch to your correspondence. Maybe be more loving, giving, compassionate and sensitive towards your Divine Feminine. Rather than expecting um, a negative response from her. You're going to come back up. Not if you're going to flick, sweetie. You might as well just stay down now. Okay. Divine Feminine, you've got Golden Palace. This came up yesterday, I believe. 23. It did. I don't know what reading it came up in. Let's read it. For the Divine Feminine's Golden Palace. There is always enough. The Golden Palace card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth and prosperity. Can I come on my lap? There's loads of room. That's it. The Golden Palace card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, ful ambitions fulfilled, wealth and prosperity. It may also indicate emotional fulfilment, as perhaps you're entering into a time of happiness that's long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are how authentically you're living your life, and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards, but things come and go, and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. Share the wealth. In comes the abundance for the Divine Feminine. She looks after herself, look. Self-worth. How much she loves herself. Angels of Light cards. Let's get one for the Divine Masculine. Click his shoulder there. Divine Masculine, you've got abundance. It, it is time for your life to flow with prosperity, love and success. You draw from the limitless universal pool. Pool. You draw from, we've been speaking about the ocean, river. We've got a, like a, a swimming pool here. Well, it's just a pool, okay? You draw from the limitless, it's just like limitless, universal pool according to your belief in how much you deserve. Angel wisdom is reminding you now to believe in yourself and trust that you deserve more. Then you will attract abundance and the true riches of life. To feel surrounded by love, open your heart to others. Choose to do what fulfills you most and the angels will bring you joy, satisfaction and success. So choose to do what fulfills you most and the angels will bring... Let's just stay down here, sweetie. The angels will bring... Lost my, I've lost my place now. Where's that gone? Oh, the angels, no. I still, why can I not actually found, find? We're all lost, see? Choose to do what fulfills you most and the angels will bring you joy, satisfaction and success. Enhance your prosperity by receiving graciously, giving out willingly, and Sam, thank you for everything. Enjoy all you have and more will come to you. Affirmation, I deserve love, prosperity and success. Yes, you do. Are you going to go after it? You're happily ever after them. The angel's going to take you there. He's going to lead you to your joy. Did it say it was going to lead you to your joy, satisfaction and success? Let's get one for the Divine Feminines. 
But if he's gonna nip me, I hope he's gonna be nice to me. Gonna be nice to me. Sorry, that's my hair. Divine feminine. Hope, divine feminine. Hope indicates that the sun is about to come out in an area of your life. It's all about the sun. So hope indicates that the sun is about to come out in an area of your life. The angel wisdom reminds you that your spirit is immensely resilient and powerful. So keep faith with your dreams and visions. Remember the universe wants you to have your heart's desire. It is simply waiting for you to believe you deserve it before the angels bring it to you. Do your part by deciding what you truly want. Then send out positive thoughts. Then send out positive thoughts for the changes you seek and for the fulfilment of your wishes. Ask the angels for help and they will fan the sparks of potential and bring them to life. Hope is a magnetic quality which attracts the great and beautiful into your life. Affirmation, I am eternally optimistic. Awesome, I love it. Yeah, let's look at the joining energy. Faith. Faith, the final frontier, I <laughs> know. Faith is such a powerful quality that it moves mountains. Angel wisdom reminds you, however, not to have blind faith in people or situations. Use common sense and discernment and never give your power to another. Instead, put your faith in yourself and the higher power, the higher powers. Pray with integrity from your still, wise centre and know that your requests will be granted. Act as if it has already manifested. That is faith. Your angel guidance is to increase your faith in the infinite. Affirmation, I have faith in the support of the universe. This is for both counterparts. Have faith. You have to like not have blind faith in like people and situations. You need to have blind faith as in the support of the universe. I'm going to end on a roomie. Jasper, you're going to stay on the t on my lap. I was going to say you're going to stay on the table. You're not, are you? You're going to stay here. We're going to get a roomie. Yeah? Okay. Just give these a shuffle, away. Eh? Mind your face then. Which one? You have to like flick it off. Is it the top one? <laughs> Was it that one? Well, I did ask. Okay. Oh, I saw a jumper. Which one? This one here? Do you reckon? I think it's that one. Enter the Garden of Delights, card number 28. Ooh. Okay, let's start with the poem. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simple everything is found? How simply everything is found. Sorry, it doesn't say simple, it says simply. <laughs> Should we start again? Are you going to sit on mummy's lap? I want to listen to the roomy message. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simply everything is found? Jasper, 
You don't, I don't want you to keep going up there, please. Are you aware the nightingale has come back from its flight, singing out messages of love to spread the light with every sound? Everything in the garden is granted the right from the divine court to appear for our delight. Everything is here to make the earth green and alive as a haven for our life. What remains buried in the soil will always endeavour to reach out. No one truly alive can ever be pawned to a prison or a tomb, Rumi. You're going to have to go down instead of going on my table. Yeah? You're not going to go up there so you can scratch? Okay, let's get this message out. I can give you a bit more room. Yeah, I can give you a bit. I need a bit of room, Jasper. Yeah? Okay. Do you want to come and sit down for mummy, please? There is a sweet spot when entering the Garden of Delights, a moment where the senses, the senses have gorged themselves upon beauty and become heavy with their fullness, slowing the mind so that it can perceive the Divine Beloved dancing behind the veils of nature. But first comes the sensual feasting, Blooming orchids arrest the gaze with their startling and strange beauty. Nectar from the ripest fruits of the garden drips, luscious and sweet, upon a savouring tongue. Hungry for gossip, the ears shamelessly eavesdrop upon the birds in melodic conversation. They sing of greatest, most passionate love and boundless living joy. The ears open wide to take it all in. The craving, the craving for touch is sated by rough textured bark falling from the ancient trees. Soft dewy grass. You're going to go down otherwise. I don't want to do it Jasper. So you can sit down. Which one? The craving of touch is sated by rough textured bark falling from the ancient trees, soft dewy grass, cool in the shade, the crunching leaves making their sounds under the hot sun and dancing feet, and the caress of that sunlight upon bare shoulders with weight of its own, like a silken wrap, placed just so by a caring lover's hand. The breeze, the very breath of the beloved earth mother, is sweet with scent of lavender and jasmine, warmed by the sun father. Oh, drink it in until your arms raise themselves to heaven, your head tilts, eyes rolling back in your head, and your sacred animal body is mindless and in love. The Garden of Delights, narcotic, in effect, lulling the senses from tension into sacred languor, that love may be experienced. You're going to go down there. Good boy. <laughs> Let us rest here in the midst of so much life. Where the goodness of life is felt and the heart is free from any prison or pain or doubt. Come. Be in the garden with me now. Let us be free and feast to our heart's content. You have been granted entry into sacred space, a myrab, a sanctuary for worship. When the soul is well acquainted with love, life becomes a temple of love. The sacred space in which the soul can grow powerful through, expan through expansive worship of love. You are being invited by your spiritual brother Rumi to enter into life, to commit to coming alive, even if at times that feels deeply challenging. Sometimes a part of you may rather stay, may rather stay locked in an illusion of security for a time, perhaps expressed through the preference of what is known, 
over what is unknown, what is familiar and, and comfortable compared to that which is unfamiliar or uncomfortable. To tussle with the parts of us that would deny aliveness is a natural part of growth. It can seem so risky, with such potential for heartache, and yet what could be more heart-wrenching than the slow death of a precious human soul, suffocated by fear and inertia? That is the greatest risk of never really and fully being born into the world of wonders. So Rumi is your midwife, there to ensure full spiritual birth. He is standing at the threshold with you now. You are being asked to cross this threshold from the life you have been living into the aliveness that is flickering and glowing at your feet. Let's have a look at this card here. You can see the light flickering look at his feet. So Rumi is your midwife, there to ensure full spiritual birth. He is standing at the threshold with you now. You are being asked to cross this threshold from the life you have been living into the aliveness that is flickering and glowing at your feet. It's a love's, it is love's wild, hot embers at your sacred feet. They will erupt at any moment into a holy inferno, taking hold of you and igniting you from within, transforming you into living fire. To come alive requires shedding of so much adherence to the fear of death. The great brother whispers wisdom into your heart. You have heard it, felt it already. The fear of death is so much more terrible than death itself. Nothing is dying in you but fear so the heart can live more freely. Death and life are twin angels dancing together in communion with the sacred. They are not opposed. They bring the soul aliveness and make the garden of delights possible. They bring the seasons of the soul that foster growth and take the appearance of dying away, which is actually part of the cycle of life, again and again and again. You have been through much death, dear one, around you, within you. You have known this dark angel. That is why you are so full of life. Your attempts to stay as you have been, to render something in your life immobile or impervious to change, have failed. Let us celebrate. There is no delight in frozen moments long since past. Why try to feast upon such food? It will not nourish you anywhere near as deeply and fully as fresh from the oven morsels of life. Come. Let us taste all that, all that is on offer. We drink headily and sate our deepest thirst. Let us enjoy the richness of the meal in gratitude for its preparation and awe at the skill involved in such masterful creation. Do not let the memory of death starve you of your participation in life. Do not, do not, do you still, okay, <laughs> I don't know where my mind's going, but they're like running away. Seriously, I'm like reading three lines. I don't know. I'll scan that before I'm even there. Let's just calm down and take a breath. Do not let the memory of death starve you of your participation in life. Do you hold on still to that which is past? I will soothe you with a loving touch upon your back, and yet gently I will turn your head to the right and urge you to see the rising sun. Your life is blessed, you see. I want you to know this now. I want you to accept this now. Let those horrors of the past be gone. They are no more than phantoms. The garden is here now to be touched, tasted, seen, heard, felt, inhaled and loved. This oracle comes to you with a message. A new day is dawning for you. This is a time when the past will very soon cease to have any hold over you. Celebration is imminent. You are invited into the golden light of divine plenty. 
Put your worries behind you now and step into your divine inheritance where all is sorted according to kindness and grace. Here's your sacred honouring ritual. Say aloud, I accept the gift of golden grace and healing now to leave behind all prisons and tombs, conscious and unconscious, of heart and of mind. I open up to life and assistance through unconditional love in being present to the miraculous beauty that seeks to live through me as me and in benefit to all humanity now. I know myself to be worthy of this grace, to be this grace, so, so be it. Place your hands gently on your heart and rest for however long feels good. And when you are finished, you have completed your ritual. And I have completed your reading. Have yourself a fantastic day. And I will catch up with you soon. One hour, 20 minutes, 47 seconds. Seriously. Okay. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.